You are back as a baby. It's one of the most famous, uh, infamous, we'll call it, mm. angles of all time. Yourself, Dirty White Boy, Tony Anthony. Uh, you've got uh, Kimberly, the Dirty White Girl. And uh, the I Need to Talk to Tom angle. If you haven't seen it, YouTube's your friend. You should consult it. Uh, it was something that was watched ad nauseum, not pushed by this man, but actually after. <laughs> They would play it all the time in developmental because it's uh, it's they a did that after <laughs> they did it after Fox. <laughs> what would happen was what about my one hour draw? <laughs> We're gonna get into that. Yeah, I know a couple of one hour draws, yeah, by the way. Sure. We're gonna get, I have one of them on, on DVD. Yeah, I, I like kind of have some stuff, but uh, <clears throat> I need to talk to Tom. Talk about when that angle. I hate to say pitched, but like. Conceptualized where maybe it happened someplace else. What happened? Uh, was it the heaviest thing you remember ever being involved with? Uh, no. How did it draw after? Like, let me just feed me no, some no, information no. Well, on it. It was we, great. We needed, we needed an angle with with white boy and me, and this was kind of worth when I really felt comfortable uh, pitching something. Yeah. And Eddie Gilbert, I think, had just come in to book, so we, I had like a. The idea we dropped the belt with Kim, uh, the white girl, put in the chloroform. chloroform. The dreaded chloroform. Yeah, it wasn't chloroform. It was starter fluid or whatever. And she sprayed on me. So he, he wins the belt. The next week I come out and cut his hair. And the next week she comes out with the black eye. And uh, I saw Nick Bockwinkel uh, in El Paso on TV one time. There was a guy named The Hangman. And he beat this. He used to have a noose. He'd come to the ring with him, put it on the corner. And then he beat the guy, and then he was going to take the noose and, and, and put it around this guy's neck. Well, mm -hmm. Bockwinkle hit the ring and started to come back, and Hangman cut him off and put the noose around Bockwinkle's neck and just oh, beeled him from corner God. to corner. I thought, oh, my God. And as a kid, I always remembered that. So yeah. I, I told Eddie, what if we had Tony put the noose around me and hang me? He says, I need more than that. I said, okay. How about this? He comes out and hits me with a chair, and... Uh, handcuffs my hands and then drags me from the interview stand to the ring. So, okay, then he came up with let's destroy the set because he wanted to get rid of the continental wrestling mm -hmm. and start his own. And so back then we didn't rehearse. Yeah. We just we talked we about it, but it. we didn't rehearse. Yeah. And have you ever had a noose around your neck? Uh, I haven't time. had that opportunity. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's still time indeed. Well, okay, well the Prior to that, too, uh, back in the back, Randy Colley drew blood from my arm and put it in a condom so when I bit down, there would be blood. But you see, we didn't have the condom tight enough. Anyway, he drew it, and he gave it to the referee who comes out after Tony attacks him with the chair. He throws me into the interview stand. The referee comes out to see how I'm doing. He puts the condom in my mouth. Tony handcuffs my hands behind my back. He puts the rope around my the noose around my neck. And he starts to pull, and it's tight. Even though he's pulling me by the noose, uh, the knots, it's still cinching up around my neck. And yeah. I'm trying to bite the condom. Yeah. Uh, and he's dragging me and dragging me. And if you watch it, watch the YouTube, there's a cop standing there just watching this. And it's just it just kind of kills <coughs> every bit of it because you can hear people screaming, but why is this cop just standing there not doing anything urgent oh, this is shit. this is I, i'm sure there's a law against this <laughs> it's got to be at least five i, I thought but yeah. anyway uh so he's pulling and he's choking the, the shit i mean the cues when i bite the condom for the guys to come and i can't bite the condom it won't come Fuck. so they at least let me hang there for a while and i'm starting to choke and you're turning and blue yeah you know, turn blue turn red whatever and the guys finally come and they had a blade to hit the uh, condom yeah, so it finally come, but they never got that on TV. It just ruined oh. the shirt. Yeah. If you watch it, there's no, you don't see the blood. But that was something we pitched to uh, uh, for the angle. It's and so it crazy because that whole thing is so heavy as it is. Yeah, it drew absolutely the, nothing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we were working at the fairgrounds and people somehow didn't want to come to the fairgrounds. Ironically, with Eddie Gilbert, the only other angle I think that they did that was so Freaking heavy. That didn't the draw car. was when he hit Lawler yeah. with the car. And what ended up happening, I guess people called the police. 
And then they had to have Lawler come out and say he was okay, so people didn't get shoot arrested. And then like same thing like the empty arena deal, man. I mean, hey, it's a great angle, great idea, but you know, drawing anybody just didn't work. So I mean, it was it was it was (laughs) creatively, it was fine, it was cool, it was great to be able to do something like that. And then uh, because it was kind of different, it was it was real. Yeah, I was hanging. I yeah. was really choking. Yeah, I couldn't release the pressure. I mean, just to do that, and that's yeah. once again to do stuff like that in the business, to 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 do stupid shit like that in the business is what we did back then. 